afternoon, my name is Taylor and I'm here to talk to you guys about a very controversial issue all over the world, education. Imagine a world where you can be in control of your own education. I'm creating this world by being homeschooled. I haven't always been homeschooled though. For 10 years of my academic career, I was a student in the Texas public school system. But when people ask me, hey Taylor, why'd you start homeschooling? I don't tell them that it's because I didn't enjoy school. It was actually quite the opposite. I always enjoyed learning throughout my childhood. As I grew up though, I realized that I was learning what other people wanted me to. All the information from the students, I mean from the teachers and the school, were stuff that they thought were important. I recently stumbled upon a quote and I'd like to share it with you now. We are training our children to be the most anxious, stressed out, sleep deprived, judged and tested, poorly nourished generation in our history. Mary Lee Jones, Director of Admissions for MIT. Now when I heard this quote, my mind was just blown because I realized how right she was. From the age of five, I had done everything and learned everything that others had wanted me to. I had no control over my education. I didn't quite make this epiphany though until the summer in between my freshman and sophomore year of high school. A little bit about my freshman year. I was in all advanced classes, I was on the varsity swim team, and I was on the marching band for my school. You could say it was a little bit busy. A normal day for me would be waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning to leave my house at 5.30 for a swim team practice that started at 6. I'd swim for two hours, get ready for school, go through the school day, only to have two hours of marching band practice every day. I'd usually get home around 6 and then try to summon the energy to finish at least three hours of homework every night. By the end of freshman year, I was burned out. So that summer I got to thinking, now what can I do to change my life? So I, you know, I, uh, I, was, I was trapped and I, I wanted to get out. I was thinking, you know, what am I even doing in life? And, and what can I do to change my life? So a quote that related to my situation then is by American school teacher and educational activist John Taylor Gatto. He said, school often acts as an obstacle to success. To go from the confinement of early childhood to the confinement of the classroom to the confinement of homework, working at math, a record entitling you to a good college, where the radical reduction of your spirit will continue, isn't likely to build character or prepare you for a good life. As I previously mentioned, I was trapped, and I felt weighed down by this idealism that I had to do everything perfect, so then in turn I could get good grades, so I can get into a good college, so I could have a successful career. That summer, I just realized that I wanted more time to pursue other interests. So I changed my life, 180 degrees. And sophomore year, I started homeschooling. Instead of competing with my 589 classmates for the highest GPA and top class ranking, I'm now competing with myself, pushing myself to be the best person I can. Because I believe inside of all of us is something great. We just have to weed out the distractions and push away things that we really don't feel passionate about. Start to, start to see what really means to us. Because if you really want to get something out of life, you have to figure out what really means to you. And, but, the, but the differences between homeschooling and public schooling are immense. And public school, every detail of your day is structured and scheduled. Every task you are to complete is lined out for you and it's all for a grade. In homeschooling, that's definitely not the case. You have to have the initiative to do the work without the consequence of not getting an A looming over your head. And you get out of it what you put in. Homeschooling is really beneficial for me because I'm seeing what it's really like out there, where there's no teachers to hold my hand. If I don't succeed, the fault's entirely my own. But now you're probably wondering what I do with all that extra time I have because I'm not sitting in school for eight hours, and what my other interests are. During the fall semester, I compete in a best robotics team based in the Woodlands with other homeschoolers ages 14 to 18. We design and then construct and then market a robot made out of a kit of materials. This intense six to 12 week process, depending on how you do, 
has really helped me get some real life experience. We, you know, we overcome challenges and there's a very diverse group of homeschoolers. We all have different ways of communicating and looking at the world and different experiences. But we have really tough challenges, like this year our robot barely worked before the competition. But we overcame that and we, we reached our goals. And that's what I really like about homeschooling. You deal with real life scenarios intensely over a long period of time, instead of just in fragmented chunks of 48 minute class periods. Now in the spring semester, I am an avid backpacker. And if you don't know what that means, it's basically just really intense camping where you need, where you carry everything that you need, such as food, shelter, water, and your pack. When I was 12 years old, I took my first backpacking trip. Uh, I did two weeks in New Mexico and I loved it. And then throughout the rest of my middle school years, I kept backpacking. But once I got into high school, because of my busy school schedule, I wasn't able to go on one single trip. Once I got into homeschooling, though, I was not only able to participate in these trips, but I was also teaching other people how to backpack. If I would have continued down the public school track, I would have missed out on these incredible backpacking opportunities and a possible career. I'm thinking about going into the National Park Service. Now, because of the success I found in homeschooling and the satisfaction I get from learning stuff that I know I normally wouldn't have in school, I would encourage you to look into it too. But I know that asking you to completely change your life is out of the question. But there's several simple tools that you can incorporate into your life to take greater control of your education. Those simply being, take the time to reflect on your life. Ask yourself, how is what I'm doing right now going to help me in four years? 14 years, 40 years. Is what I'm doing right now going to help me achieve my long time goals? If not, ask yourself, why are you still doing said task? And what, what are you doing right now that might distract you or harbor you from doing something that will really matter in your life later on? Just take control of your education and furthermore, your destiny. Thank you. <laughs> so when you had to transition from public school to homeschool, did you feel, before you made a transition, did you feel you were prepared? Did you know what to expect? Academically, I felt like I could handle it. I might actually have been wrong on that one because homeschooling, you don't just have to memorize something for the test. You know, you, you, don't, just, you don't just forget it after you learn it. You actually have to apply it and then use it in real life. And but socially, I, I didn't know what to expect. I, I, there's a lot of negative stereotypes to homeschooling, but I'm here to put those to rest. <laughs> and, um, you know, I did, that, that did harbor me a bit because a lot of the homeschoolers that I come in contact with are really different from me. They've grown up homeschooling. But, I, you know, I was in public school for 10 years. But it, it's still really beneficial to me. How did you have it? In, when, um, so how did it turn out um, socially? How did how did how was it different? Did you like it better or worse? I find that in homeschooling you have really positive social interactions, and most people think, oh, you're you're homeschooled, you're not going to have very many social interactions, and that might be true, not really, <laughs> but the social interactions that you have are really positive. You know, in public school, all the interactions you had you have may not be positive. You know, you, you are competing with a lot of your classmates and a lot of them may put you down or not encourage you and you may not get the same encouragement you get in homeschool. Well, thank you. As a homeschooler, I thank you for dispelling those ridiculous <laughs> myths. <laughs> thank so you. Thank you. Oh, your artifact. Oh, okay. My artifact is actually that giant blue binder over there. That was my binder for freshman year. And it's about three inches wide, so I would have to carry that around with me every day. And now I'm free. No more <laughs> binders. Thank you.